So in a previous video, I demonstrated how you would use relays um, to build AND gates and OR gates, and also exclusive OR gates. Um, so I'll just draw the symbols here. This is an AND gate with two inputs. This is an OR gate. And then this is an exclusive OR gate. Like, um, so in my discussion of relay logic, I've shown you already how to do those. So one thing that's... Um, often frustrating is you, you end up needing NAND gates and um, um, gates with inverting outputs. Um, but you can actually build these quite simply using um, the, ori the original kind of approach um, by recognizing that if you have an AND gate, which has an inverting output like that, or an OR gate, a NOR gate, which has an inverting output like that, um, then these are equivalent to um, in this case, an OR gate with inverting inputs. And then this one is equivalent to an AND gate with inverting inputs. So if you realize, if you understand those identities, then you can build up um, simpler relay circuits than you would be um, otherwise. So in for the implementing these two gates, um, if these are the relay coils A and B, and we have some contacts on here, uh, normally open and normally close contacts, then this um, output here, this A and B NANDed, um, is going to be built up by taking the uh, normally closed side uh, of these relays and then ORing them together. Um, and one Typical way of do is to use diodes, um, just so that you can use the contacts again for something else, and then this would go to your light or your or relay or something else. So this is this this one, um, and then the other NOR gate, which is equivalent to this, that is A or B inverted. Well, that can be done by realizing that it's actually A inverted and B inverted. So um, you can do that by having some contacts here and grounding that one, connecting that to that, and this to your light here. This is positive. Um, so basically when both A and B are out, or, or zero, then that light will come on. And that is the equivalent to the NOR gate. 